Hello, welcome back to the final part of my series on uncertainties. Uh, today we're looking at graphing uncertainties. So, the first graph we're going to look at, this is for the for the A-level part, uh, is, a, is a graph of terminal potential difference. So, that's the potential difference at the end of a cell uh, with a load applied uh, against current. Uh, so, you'd have seen um, you'll have seen this equation, this graph, in your required practical six finding the EMF and the internal resistance of a cell or a power supply um, and you'll have drawn a graph which looks like this and you'll have found the gradient to find minus R the internal resistance and you'll have found the y-intercept in order to find uh, epsilon which is the EMF uh, so question is after we've found the gradient which is a great way to reduce random uncertainties uh, in a result um, how do we find the uncertainty in our gradient? So for A level, you the first thing you do after you draw your line of best fit uh, is draw your worst line of best fit. So you've been trained for years to draw the best line of best fit you can with even numbers of points on the top and bottom of the line. Uh, and now what I'm saying is you draw the worst line of best fit that you can. Okay. So when you've got your worst line of best fit, either the steepest one that you can find or the shallowest one you can find, here that's the red one and the green one, the red one's the steepest and the green one's the shallowest, then the worst possible gradient is the one that you're looking for. So these are these are lines of lines of best fit that you could draw, um, but they're not very good. Okay? So don't be too pessimistic um, and don't be too close. Uh, it's a bit of an art. Um, in the IB it's slightly more um, logical. There's a way to a way to figure it out. But with um, the A level, if you're asked to find the uncertainty in a gradient, you draw your worst line of best fit. Okay. In order to find the uh, percentage uncertainty in the gradient, you take your worst gradient. Uh, minus your best gradient all over so that's your absolute uncertainty on the top or an estimate of and then you can multiply that by 100% get your percentage uncertainty in your gradient so you take your worst gradient minus your best gradient to find some sort of estimate of the absolute uncertainty. Divide it by the best gradient times by 100 to get the percentage uncertainty in your gradient. Uh, in order to do the same thing for the y-intercept, it's very similar. Um, so you look at your worst y-intercept, so which one's furthest away from your best. And you take your worst y-intercept uh, you take away your best y-intercept you divide by your best y-intercept and then multiply by a hundred percent okay so in each case it's the worst minus the best all divided by the best multiplied by 100% give you your percentage uncertainty in your gradient whatever value that might be uh, and always be careful that when you're working with gradients you're probably going to have um, uh, a unit so in this case our unit is ohms for the gradient and for our y-intercept your unit is the same as the values on your y-axis so that is uh, units of potential difference that's volts so that's graphing uncertainties for the A level with the IB, in order to draw our lines of best and worst fit, we have to use uncertainty bars. Now we can use uncertainty bars in A-level, um, but there, there's no stipulation that they need to be used uh, when you're doing lines of worst fit. In this case, our steepest line goes from the top. So if we draw a box around here, this is our uncertainty in that quantity and a box around here gives us our uncertainty 
in this one, in this plot here. So our steepest line of worst fit goes from the top of this box to the bottom corner of this box. And then our shallowest goes from the top of this box to the bottom corner of this box. So this will be examined like this in your um, exams, in your paper three. Now, the only time when this isn't the case is if this line does not go through the uncertainty bars on all of your other points, in which case you need to move the line either if you can't make it to this end, move this end, or you can move this end so that it goes from um, either the top corner here or the bottom corner here goes through as many of the points as possible, in fact it goes through all of the points and ends up somewhere near the top corner of this one yep, so it's slightly different. Uh, we've got a different graph this time as well, we've got displacement on the y-axis and we've got t squared on the x-axis so in this case uh, we've got on the y-axis s uh, on our x-axis t squared and if we're using the equation s equals ut plus a half a t squared um, a half a because we're doing free fall for this experiment so this is finding g by free fall where g is our, it's our gravitational field strength but it's equal to our acceleration due to gravity uh, so the gradient of this line would be g over 2 and ut because we're starting from rest u, ut is 0 Okay, so our, our y-intercept is zero, so we should pass through the origin, um, and our gradient should be g over two. So, finding our so in this case we're not finding percentage uncertainties, we're finding the uncertainty in our gradient. That's going to be your maximum gradient. I'm going to use shorthand for this. Uh, minus your minimum gradient all over 2. So it's quite similar to our uh, finding half the range of the results if we do repeated results. Quite similar to that. We've got the maximum minus the minimum divided by 2 to find an estimate of our um, our range of gradients to find the uncertainty in the y-intercept um, it's very similar, it's your maximum y-intercept minus your minimum y, I'm going to write space, intercept all over 2 and then you can convert those uh, to a percentage uh, using our um, our method for finding percentage uncertainties from the first video in the series. I hope that's been useful. I hope the whole series has been useful. I'll just scroll up slightly so you can see the two different ways for A level and for IB. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. Um, give me a like if you liked it. Let me know what was good, what was bad. Uh, I'll see you soon for another video in a live stream.